now we are here for a treat. This is one of the main reasons we do this work. This evening, we are going to honor the authors, the winners of the writing contest. And if you notice, we have in the year of the women, we have four brilliant, amazing young women here, young ladies. They represent the span of grade levels K through second and first grade. Then we have for middle schools and we have high schools. First, let me invite the winning author for grade K second. Her name is Natalia Sachs Avila from Patrick Henry Elementary School in Long Beach. She is a first grade student. Natalia, please come with me. Before we hear from Natalia, I have a few questions for her. How do you feel today when you see all this wonderful group of people who came to celebrate you, to listen to you, what you have written, and to actually honor you. How does it feel? Happy. You feel happy. Yeah. And tell me, who helped you to write your essay? My teacher. Your teacher? And what is the name of your teacher? Senora McAllister. And for how long did Senora... Senora... McAllister. What? Senora McAllister. For how long Senora McAllister work with you? Mm. Two days, one day, one hour, two hours, do you remember? No. No? Okay, so all of these people, who is here with you today? Tell me who is with you today. My mom, my dad, and my brother. And what are they? Have you, can you see them? Yeah. Where do you see them? Right there. Right there, and they came to celebrate with you. So, Natalia, this is your time. Everyone here will listen. Everyone is here to listen to you. Thank you. Now, Natalia Sachs Avila. Para hacer mis sueños realidad, yo necesito ser bilingüe. Yo quiero ser gimnasta para competir en Brasil como Lord Hernandez. Así podré entender a los jueces porque el portugués se parece al español. También, si soy bilingüe, Podré visitar a mi familia en El Salvador y siempre hablar español con mis primas Fátima y Paula. Me siento contenta de saber es hablar español y inglés. Gracias. Otro fuerte aplauso para Natalia. <laughs> Natalia, on behalf of the CABE Board of Directors and on behalf of the CABE members here, we want to give you this award. And it reads like this. The California Association for Bilingual Education proudly recognizes the participation of Natalia Abigail Sachs in the CAVE 2018 Student Writing Contest, first grader at Patrick Henry Elementary School in Long Beach Unified School District. Here for you, and also, you are receiving a check for $200. And we are hoping that this is for 
your college. This is a start, the building for her university funds. Now we are inviting the winning author for grades third through fifth. She is a fourth grader and her name is Eva Gonzalez from Daniel Phelan Language Academy in the Whittier City School District. And her teacher is Guadalupe Velasco. Please join me in welcome Eva Gonzalez. <laughs> Eva, before, before we get started, and you see all this group of people that came to listen, to hear, to enjoy your writing, how does it feel to be here today? Look, everyone came to celebrate you. What does it feel like? I feel very honored for, to be in this um, er area and presenting my writing for thanking my family and friends for supporting me. Wonderful. Who is here with you today? My mom, my dad, my brother, my two teachers, and my, my principal. Who are your two teachers? Ms. Velasco and Ms. Galindo. And who is your principal? Dr. Rodriguez. And where are they? Do you see them somewhere? Dr. Rodriguez is right there, and Ms. Galindo and Ms. Velasco are right there. And where are your parents? That's my mom, and that's my dad, and my, and my brother, Lucas. All of them are here to celebrate, and everyone, they are so proud of you. Without further ado, please join me in enjoying Ava Gonzalez reading. Really quick, I want to say that I dedicate this to my parents and my family for helping me write this and my and my teacher Ms. Velasco for helping me get here and she and she she helped me um she told me that I could do it and all the hard work that she teach she all the hard work that I've done and the things that she teached us helped me write this writing Vuelo a San Francisco a las 10.45 p.m. Al mismo tiempo oigo, vuelo a Nueva York a las 11.15 p.m., pero en chino, y pienso a mí misma, wow, ojalá pudiera entender todos estos lenguajes interesantes. Yo me llamo Eva González y estoy en un programa de doble inmersión y estoy orgullosa de ser bilingüe. Mi próximo objetivo es ser multilingüe. Eso podría ser difícil, pero podría ser una gran ayuda para lo que quiero ser cuando crezca. Mi objetivo es ser una pediatra para bebés que nacen antes de término. Mi hermano y yo nacimos dos meses antes de tiempo y necesitábamos un cuidado especial en el hospital hasta que éramos lo suficientemente fuertes para volver a casa con nuestros padres. Tuvimos muchos buenos doctores que se ocuparon de nosotros. Algunos de ellos siguen siendo nuestros doctores hoy día. Quiero ayudar a otros bebés prematuros y a sus familias con las mismas experiencias. Cuando estaba en kinder de transición, o TK, estaba en una clase de inglés. Fui a la escuela primaria West Whittier para TK, pero solo estuve ahí por un año. Mis padres estaban planeando que me quedara ahí para kinder, pero cuando se enteraron del programa de doble inmersión en la escuela primaria de Daniel Phelan, mis padres sabían que querían que estuviera en ese programa. 
Yo estaba muy nerviosa porque estaba acostumbrada a aprender en inglés, pero mis padres me dijeron que me iba a ir bien. Tenía razón. Creo que ser multilingüe es importante por muchas razones. Me puede ayudar en mi carrera futura y me hará posible ganar más dinero. Conocer más de un idioma es útil para muchas carreras como doctores, maestros y psicólogos. Imagínate, siendo un maestro multilingüe, tú serás capaz de enseñar en otros países como China, México, India o Rusia. Y ofrecer clases de inglés a otros. ¿O qué tal ser un médico o psicólogo bilingüe? Tú serás capaz de ayudar a muchas más personas que necesitan tu ayuda. Ser multilingüe también es importante para el mundo de los negocios. Porque la mayoría de las empresas necesitan gente que pueda hablar muchos idiomas para que puedan comunicarse con los clientes de otros países. Conocer más de un idioma también puede hacer que viajar por todo el mundo sea más fácil y menos estresante. Imagínate, ¿cuánto más fácil sería explorar nuevos países y aprender sobre sus costumbres e historias? Sin embargo, la razón más importante para ser bilingüe para mí es que puedo comunicarme con mis parientes que hablan español. Más temprano en mi vida, cuando estaba empezando a aprender español, cada martes iba a casa de mis abuelos, los padres de mi papá, y cada vez cuando me saludaban, no les entendía muy bien. Recuerdo haberle dicho a mi papá y quejarme diciendo, papá, no les entiendo. Y mi papá decía, esa es la razón por la que está, estás en la clase para aprender español. Al pasar los meses y años, yo he aprendido mucho. Puedo entenderlos perfectamente ahora y no me siento frustrada cuando hablo con ellos. Fue la misma experiencia con mi otra abuela, la mamá de mi mamá. Ella cuidó de mí cuando yo era un, un bebé y yo sabía un poco de español porque ella me habló en ese idioma. Mi abuelo, su marido, falleció, pero estoy segura de que sería difícil para mí, para mí con él también y él me obligaría a aprender español. Creo que la comunicación en un idioma diferente con tus abuelos y tus otros parientes es muy importante porque puedes practicar el idioma y aprender acerca de las diferencias de tiempos pasados y ahora. También te pueden enseñar a, a, te, y también te pueden enseñar diferentes idiomas. Por ejemplo, si tus abuelos y otros miembros de la familia no hablan inglés, tú puedes enseñarles y si tú no sabes su idioma como el español, ellos te pueden enseñar. La razón final por la cual es muy importante comunicarte con tu familia en su idioma es porque ellos pueden contarte historias viejas que pueden ayudar con tu lectura. Estoy muy agradecida por estar en el programa de doble inmersión en la escuela primaria Daniel Phelan porque todos los maestros me ayudan con mi español. También hablan y leen el español muy bien y esto los hacen buenos maestros de español. Otra razón por la que estoy agradecida de ser bilingüe es porque me ayudará cuando llegue a la preparatoria. Ya sé español, así que puedo, ir, que puedo ir a una clase de español de nivel más alto y preocuparme por aprender un nuevo idioma. Realmente quisiera hablar chino porque hay una necesidad para él 
en muchos trabajos. Se necesitan a alguien que pueden, pueda hablar chino porque muchos inmigrantes vienen aquí a los Estados Unidos. Ser multilingüe siempre ha sido mi sueño. Sin embargo, sé que no todo el mundo valora otros idiomas aparte del inglés. Sé esto porque al crecer ha visto adultos y niños ser malos y resistas hacia otros para, por, hablar, por hablar otros idiomas. Creo que es muy triste que la gente no pueda ver que cada idioma es hermoso y valioso. Otros países tienen muchos más ciudadanos que son multilingües que, que en los Estados Unidos. Estoy segura de que son más felices de poder comunicarse con personas que podrían que tal vez son diferentes a ellos mismos. Mi esperanza es de que yo, puede ser, yo puedo ser tan feliz como esas personas. Gracias. These authors are the new generation of writers. De Isabel Allende, de Julia Álvarez. We have here the new generation, la generación de relevo. Eva recibe un cheque por 300 dólares y este reconocimiento de CAPE. Now, I would like to call the winning author for grades six through eight. She is a seventh grader, Sophia Lee, from D. Russell Parks Junior High in the Fullerton Union School District. Her teacher is Joyce Baker. Sophia, please join us right now. Sofia, how does it feel to be here today? I'm, ver I'm very honored to be here and present my essay, and I feel very achieved. Who is here with you today? My parents, my mom and dad, are here with me today. When you were writing this essay, what were the emotions? What did you feel? What came to mind? when you were working on this essay? When I was working on this essay, first it helped me organize my thoughts and it helped me understand more about what I was thinking and how I want to live my life from now on. And as you think how you want to live your life from now on, what are you envisioning to do and to be in the future? Um, I want to First, I, well, I, like I mentioned in my essay, I want to help other people, and I want to live my life to the fullest and just be worthy of others that support me. That is wonderful. Please, Sophia Lee. The beauty of language. Language is a beautiful thing. Language can unite people with different cultures, different lifestyles, and simply different lives. Language is important in anything you do, from a student communicating with a teacher to a diplomat communicating with people from another country. Language also co connects people through literature and music. Through books and songs, people can dream and imagine freely. My dream is to make the world a better place. I am a Korean American born in Los Angeles. As long as I can remember, I spoke both English and Korean to my parents and relatives around me. My family lived in China for five years because of my dad's work. And that is where I learned about the Chinese culture and learned to speak Chinese. Learning Chinese at first was very difficult. But after a year or two, as my Chinese began to improve, I became confident in learning other languages. One of my 
favorite places in the world is Paris. And I intend to learn to speak French someday. I hope to speak five or six different languages in the future. <laughs> Knowing how to speak multiple languages can help me communicate with more people around the world and help them. I think that making the world a better place doesn't have to require doing something big. It can start from helping other people. I know that people might think that, how is helping other people making the world a better place? But I think that by helping other people, you are making the world a better place for them. If you read the book, Pay It Forward, by Catherine Ryan Hyde, you will be able to see that helping one person can lead to helping so many other people in the world. Speaking multiple languages will allow you to communicate with more people and every time you learn a new language, the number of people you can communicate with will multiply. And if there are more people you can communicate with, there are more people you can help. If you know more languages, there will be no boundary in helping the people in need. Some people might think, what is the use of learning languages when there is technology? I think that learning different languages will still be important because to a person, there are feelings in the words they say. And the way you say something might completely change the meaning of what you say. Also, when you learn a new language, you learn about other people's culture. This lets you know the subtle differences that words can make. And you can also understand how to and how not to say certain things. Although artificial intelligence will help a lot, I still believe that it is important to learn languages in order to communicate in a proper way. When people communicate, there are certain gestures, words, and manners in different places. In order to know that, you have to understand the language completely. Every place has a different system whether you speak the same language or not. People have different standards of manners and people think differently. In order to understand the people, you have to speak the language. In order for the world to process better, people have to learn more languages. Google Translate won't work if you truly want to inspire someone. You have to speak from your heart. Language can influence and inspire other people. Whether it is books, music, social media, or a political act, you can be an influential person. If I am able to speak many different languages and know how to speak those languages from my heart, I can influence and inspire millions of people around the world. My dream is to travel around the world and help the people in need. I may be able to teach English to a group of children in a country in South America. I may be able to treat sick kids in a country in Africa. I may be able to help build schools in a country in Asia. I don't know what I will become and what I will be able to do to help other people in the world, but one thing is for sure. I will speak several different languages and I will speak from my heart with the people around the world. Thank you. Sophia, on behalf of the CABE Board of Directors, on behalf of all CABE, we want to give you for your scholarship towards your college a check for $500 Thank and these recognitions. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you, Sophia. When I asked her teacher about this year's winner for grades 9 to 12, her teacher told me, you will hear something that you haven't heard before. And you will enjoy because this student gave me so many rewards as she was writing. I want to call Diana Aguilar from Sierra Vista High School in the Baldwin Park School District. Her teacher is Charlene Fried. Sophie, uh, Diana, your teacher told me 
that you didn't want too much of help. Is that true? Well, um, I received a lot of help from all my teachers. I mean, the writing was mine, mm -hmm. but they helped me fix my, my English because my English is not good, so they helped me translate it in English. They helped me practice because we've been practicing every day in school, at my house, everywhere. How long have you been in the United States? Well, I've been here two years and a half, and on September 27th. <laughs> and well, September 27th, it'll be three years already. Diana Aguilar from Sierra Vista High School. Diana. Well, before I, I start, antes de empezar, I want to let you all know that I'm really grateful and happy to be here. Quiero que todos sepan que estoy muy contenta y agradecida de estar aquí el día de hoy. Um, I want to thank you, the CAB organization, for giving me the opportunity to be here today in front of this amazing public. I also want to thank all the people from Baldwin Park District that came to support me. I would like to thank some board members, Ms. Cristina Lucero, Ms. Betsy Lara. I want to thank um, Director of Student Achievement, Dr. Maria Rios. I want to ta thank some principals, Dr. Maria Alonso and Dr. Laura Rodriguez. I would also like to thank uh, teach, teacher, Mr. Miss Sandy Camp, Campos. I I like to ta thank Miss Rivas, Mr. Varela, Miss Miss Diaz, and Miss Free for helping me achieve this goal. I want to give a special shout out to Miss Free because <laughs> she's been with me since day one. And she's always supporting me, and she is always pushing me to, to the limit. I want to thank my grandparents and my, and my parents. And well, before I start reading my essay, I want to let you all know that I haven't seen my parents since like two, two years and a half ago. And well, today, thanks to this um, great honor, I am able to see them, and they were able to come. Thank you. September 27, 2015. The day my nightmares died, my dreams were born, and my hopes were restored. Because I began a search for opportunity in the land of freedom. My head was spinning, and I kept crying because Besides leaving my mother, there were two questions I could not answer. The first one, who am I? And the second one, why am I like this? To my mother, I am a treasure. To my father, I am his pride. To my brother, I am a hero. To the Americans, I am a threat because I am hardworking and responsible. They think they run the risk of me taking away their jobs. For my people, I am a brave immigrant who crossed the border full of hope, but not ignorance. For myself, For myself, I am a dreamer. I am a bilingual person 
who will use all the tools that language provides to succeed in life. I am so lucky to have a superpower because I can share my fears and joys, dreams and nightmares, achievements and losses, losses through actions and sensations that will allow me to speak the language of the mind and the language of the heart. I do not seek to be bilingual, to acquire properties, to become wealthy, or to create a hard and frivolous heart. I seek to be bilingual, to rescue my people from their countries of death and insecurity. And and gently guide them towards personal and politic political liberation. Bilingual people know how to communicate. We know how to honor and respect the ideas of others. Even though we don't speak the same language, we have common goals. For example, we want to take our parents out of poverty and we want to teach our children how to win battles by using the strength and power of words. I remember two children, a girl and a boy. The boy without a tiny piece of vocabulary and the girl with a thousand and one words of love. The two were arguing. They could not decide which were the best, demons or gods. The girl responded with an enriching argument. She said that gods are the best option, not because they do acts of kindness, but unlike demons, they can express themselves through words without having to humiliate or hurt others. Demons only focus on doing harm because they don't know how to express their thoughts and ideas by using words. The boy responded with insult, which deeply hurt the girl. She began to cry and she left. I want to emphasize the words my mother used to tell me when I was still living in Mexico and we could still walk together holding hands. She always told me that who gets angry loses. This is when I realized that the girl who responded with an argument full of wisdom and cultural richness was the true champion of that battle. <laughs> Despite having cried and having retreated, her knowledge and ideas will never disappear. Instead, the child full of insults lost the battle because he will have to spend a lifetime without knowing how to communicate. And he will only cause harm, not to the demons, not to the gods, not to the girl of the story, but to himself. Because he does not know how to say, I love you, through a hug. In that moment, I realized the importance of knowing a language and expressing it with maturity, respect, and with pride to be whom you are, to be bilingual. Two years have passed since the flowers in my room have withered. My friends have forgotten me and I haven't communicated with my parents because I cannot return to my homeland. 
the land of the hungry coyote, Nezahualcoyotl. <laughs> Sorry. I have already answered the two questions. Who am I? I am an immigrant. I am a dreamer. I am bilingual. I work hard every day to show the world that by being humble and by having perseverance, you can make a change in your community. Why am I like this? Because life has seen something in me, something special that has allowed me to speak the language of wisdom and love in order to suffocate the fear that oppresses my community and restore its life with harmony and peace. This is how being bilingual will make my dreams come true. Thank you. Thank you. Sí se puede. Sí se puede. What? Diana, on behalf of CAVE, we want to give you a check for $1,000 as a contribution for your service. You. What are you planning to do in the future, Diana? <laughs> well, I want to become a, neuros a pediatric neurosurgeon in the future. And we have no doubt that you will accomplish. Again, a big round of applause. We are getting a matching contribution for that Diana's college, $2,000 from Okay, vamos a llamar a las otras. Here are the winners of the writing contest of 2018, CAVE Conference of 2018. We are very proud of each one of you. Congratulations. Okay.